Welcome to the lesson on carbohydrate. This is the first of three lessons on macronutrients, carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. The carbohydrates are a neutral molecule that are composed of a ratio of one carbon to two hydrogen and one oxygen, which gives a chemical formula of CH2O. So that's where it gets its name. Through the years, public perceptions of carbohydrates have really changed. In the 1970s and 80s, they were seen as good, and you could almost have as much as you want, as long as they were low in fat. Then the 90s came along, and we had the Atkins diet, and they were seen as bad in almost any form. I think today we better understand that there are good and bad carbohydrates, but none of them are all good or all bad. But it's important if we're going to understand carbohydrates that we understand how they differ one from the other. For example, I have corn syrup and potatoes. These are both carbohydrates, and they're both made from the basic molecule called glucose. But with corn syrup, the glucose is there in its single one unit at a time, where in potatoes, they're linked together in huge molecules with thousands of glucose molecules linked together. Corn syrup, pretty sweet. Potatoes, not at all. So we know that the type of carbohydrate in foods will impact their structure and their taste. So the lesson starts by learning how to classify carbohydrates and learning how to categorize foods based upon those types of carbohydrates. Because food labels include information about types and the amounts of carbohydrates, this lesson will also include information on how to read and interpret food labels. But once we have understand foods and their types of carbohydrate in them, we then are going to consume them. And our body is going to have to digest and absorb them. And the GI tract is very picky about that. It will only absorb one sugar unit at a time. So it can absorb that, that corn syrup very easily, but that big starch molecule must be digested down to the single unit of glucose at a time. Then we're going to absorb it. And we'll look at how the body will regulate that blood glucose um, once we have absorbed it. And we'll look at it in health, but we'll also look at it in disease, such as diabetes, where the body does not regulate um, blood glucose well. So this lesson discusses the types of carbohydrates, where we find them in various food store, uh, sources, how the body will regulate them with blood glucose, and how those different types of carbohydrates impact our health.